The Random Jottings of Donald J. from Nelson in Pendle Once upon a time, there was a small village located in Lancashire, England, named Nelson. It was a quaint little place with a few houses scattered here and there. Among those houses, there were two special ones that caught everyone's attention, Chapel House and Chapel House Cottage. Both of these houses were old and had been standing for centuries, but what made them unique was the charm they held against witches. Over the doors of Chapel House and Chapel House Cottage, there were hag stones, also known as holy stones or Odin stones. These stones were believed to have natural holes that allowed one to see through them and ward off evil spirits. For centuries, people had placed these stones over their doors to keep their homes and families safe from harm. But that was not all. Hanging in the windows of both these houses were brightly colored glass spheres called witch balls. These orbs were used for protection against witches, spells, and ill fortune. In the 18th century, England, these witch balls were especially popular and hung in the windows of many homes. The bright colors and the uniqueness of the orb enticed witches and trapped them inside it, protecting the home from evil. As time passed, the village changed, and new people came to live in Chapel House and Chapel House Cottage. But the charm against witches remained intact, and people continued to hang the hag stones and witch balls over their doors and windows. Today, Chapel House and Chapel House Cottage are still standing and they still hold the charm against witches. The houses are now occupied by different families, but they all know the importance of these charms and how they protect their homes from harm. As you walk past Chapel House and Chapel House Cottage on Hibson Road, you will notice the hag stones and witch balls hanging over the doors and windows. These houses are a reminder of a time when people believed in magic and the power of charms against evil spirits. And who knows, maybe these charms still work their magic today, keeping the families safe and protected from harm. By Donald J.